Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well, guys, our friends over at thetruthaboutguns.com has they've recently posted an article on a new firearm that's going to be coming out in 2018. Um, in case you haven't heard, the 30 carbine is going to be making a comeback. That's right, the 30 carbine in the form of the M30P pistol. So what we're going to do is just take a look at this uh, this pistol carbine uh, in a little more detail and just discuss some of the main features that you can find in this uh, particular firearm. Now, I will put a link to the article in this uh, my video down below in the description box so you can check out more details if you want to. Uh, we'll cover the basic specifications and that's it. It's not a range test but just the specifications of this pistol in this particular video. Now if you're not familiar with uh, Inland Manufacturing, they make some reproduction M1 carbines. Uh, they're not exact reproductions but they're about as close as you're going to be able to get these days in a new production firearm. And again, they, they, they still continue to sell. People continue to buy them. And so what they've done is they've essentially taken their M1 1945 carbine and somewhat tailored it, changed it, modded it out to what you see right here, which is legally considered a pistol. Now, let's just get out some of the main details on this firearm. What do you need to know about it? Well, from the back to the front, we're dealing with a Gearhead Mod 2 uh, tail hook arm brace. Uh, you have an AR style pistol grip, which is what they're calling it. They don't necessarily say if it's going to be compatible with other AR-15 grips, but they say an AR-15 style pistol grip. It's a sure, Ergo Sure Grip pistol grip, technically. does come with a 10 round magazine. Now, apparently the way that it's designed and because of the receiver, um, it does accept some aftermarket higher capacity civilian and military magazines, which make it even more viable as a self-defense tool. It does have a ghost ring rear sight, and it is obviously built on the chassis of the, uh, the M1 carbine. Now, what may make you consider this for your next home defense weapon is the fact that it does have a 12-inch barrel, which is uh, 1 half by 28 threads per inch threaded, so you could add some sort of suppressor on the end if you needed to. It also has the uh, Picatinny rail sections, which are part of the EBR chassis, okay? which means that you could put some, uh, some other items on there if you needed to, additional optics and pistol grips, angle four grips, and so on. Now, remember, it is legally considered as a pistol. Uh, the overall length okay, with the arm brace is 29 and 38 inches. Uh, we're looking at a weight of 5.5 pounds. Without the arm brace, it's 20 and a quarter inches. And remember, it is able to fire without the arm brace or even fire without the buffer tube as it doesn't actually have a traditional buffer system and recoil spring like you'd find in an AR-15. Uh, without the arm brace, the carbine or pistol weighs 4.5 pounds. And again, it is going to be supplied with one 10-round magazine. Now, here's the only shocker about this. It's the MSRP. Now, the MSRP versus the price that you're actually going to pay for this pistol, um, those could be two different things. Now, MSRP is just one thing. If we go down here, we see that they're going to be asking $16.99, which might add a little bit of sting in the pocketbook for some people. Not everybody, but some people. And it's one of those things where you might ask yourself, do I really want to make this my next uh, uh, truck gun? Do I really want to make it my next you know, range toy? Or should I just maybe keep it around as just something to kind of have for fun, right? Uh, I don't know. you got to make that decision when you look at purchasing a firearm like this. Now, you might be a fan of the 30, 30 carbine round, and I'm not one to question its effectiveness, as it did seem to do a pretty decent job in World War II. But for $1,700, I don't know. It's going to be a definite... It'll be interesting to see if it becomes a commercial success or not, or if they're going to develop other variants of this particular pistol. So again, this is the uh, Inland Manufacturing M30P pistol with uh, all the fun little toys and accessories well, tacked onto it, I guess you could say, to make kind of an interesting pistol. Me, I personally, I'm excited about it. Anytime a new firearm is going to be introduced to the market that uh, is as unique as this, you really can't just be somewhat um, interested in it or maybe a bit amused by its design. Uh, so anyway, guys, that's basically it. Just want to cover the basic spe um, specifications on this pistol for you. So guys, this is Travis P11. If you like what you saw, please like or subscribe. Again, I'll have the link for that uh, Truth About Guns article in the description box on this video, and you're able to go check it out if you want to. Uh, please like or subscribe, guys. You can find me over on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm also on Patreon.com with uh, Patreon.com backslash TravisP11. Uh, you can also find me over on Vidme. My uh, station over there, my channel over there is TravisP11. And I also do a Saturday morning podcast over on YouTube and GunChannels.com with a show called The Caliber Corner. So, And if you don't have uh, an account yet, definitely get over to GunChannels.com and do sign up. So there you have it, guys. One last time, this is the M30. 
30p uh, pistol carbine that's legally considered a pistol from inland manufacturing again this isn't a range test i just wanted to bring you the specifications on and get the word out about this neat little i guess we'll call it a firearm self-defense tool that's going to be coming out to uh uh, to your local range sometime soon. So there you go. All right, guys, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us today. I want you guys to have a great evening, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Have fun and be safe. All right, bye-bye.